So now on this one, we're gonna talk about how to make, so we've, we've learned a way to make an acid chloride. It's the top of Mount Carbonyl. Uh, what do we use it for to move down? So we actually can use it to take an acid chloride to react with a carboxylic acid to make an anhydride, which is one step below the acid chloride. So to do this, the mechanism is pretty simple. The first step, we have a acid and we have a base. So step one is just gonna be a deprotonation. Right. Deprotonation. And what that's going to give us, it's going to turn our carboxylic acid into a decent nucleophile. And that's going to react with the acid chloride, which of course is electrophilic at the carbon of the carbonyl. So we're going to add in there. So an addition step. Make sure we don't lose our carbons here. Right, so that's a pretty good, that's a tetrahedral intermediate. Um, you can see we're in kind of basic conditions. We have negative charges. Tetrahedral intermediate, we ask ourselves, do we have a good leaving group? We do. Chlorine is a really good leaving group. All right, so that's going to give us an elimination. And that's going to actually give us a Cl- minus as well, which of course is really stable. It's large, it's large negative, not probably have a negative charge. And that's a way to take an carbox, uh, a carboxylic acid and an acid chloride and create an anhydride, an anhydride species, uh, which is one step below uh, acid chloride as far as reactivity on Mont Carbonyl. And it's really good, has a good leaving group for resonance. And I made this in ethyl so you can kind of keep track of this. Um, but again, you see the same steps, deprotonation, addition, elimination, basic conditions.